Hello Internet, it is me, the man, and welcome back to No Time. So, on today's video, we are going to play another one of the side quests, but before we do that, I just wanted to point out that I played a little bit off-camera, and I now have the Mark III gun back, so that's pretty cool. I had to rebuild it. I also rebuilt the fusion reactor, so we're back up in tip-top shape. I even reorganized my inventory system, made some more dimension boxes, so now, oh, actually, that box is trying to escape. I think that's one of the empty ones, though, so fine, whatever, let's just get that back where it belongs uh now one thing that i constantly get comments about is people want me to go back in time and interact with my previous self um it sounds cool and it is cool but it's actually not super interesting content wise um i captured this footage uh previously and you can see that that's my past self driving around interacting with some stuff the, the interacting with items is actually kind of cool you can see them pop in and out of existence um, but besides that, you can't really do a, a whole lot, and it, it only remembers everything before the last time wipe, so I can't go back and watch myself do anything super exciting. And the second you go out of the car, uh, time collapses on itself and you die. And then I had a problem where actually every time I tried to reload, I would just die again. So I, I'd like to try to avoid that from now on. Uh, but there you go, that's something to do. Now, one other thing I'd like to try to do is, um, there's like an achievement where if you go into a... Put that down. A waste basket or Do something? Do not start dancing and jumping around with it. Really? Oh, all right. Whatever. Sure. You're probably one of those who have boasts of her found secrets in games. Oh, have you found the waste bear secret? Yes, it was quite exquisite. All right. I guess you want a prize for your find, don't you? Yes. Since this is one of the most random things you could do in the game. I will give you something random in my turn. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I didn't know that that would happen. Nice. All right, cool. Oh, and they follow me. Oh, all right. I didn't know that that would happen. I just wanted the achievement. Oh, and something else I've neglected to mention in a previous episode is that the Mach 3 now has wings as of the new beta update. Uh, they don't really change a whole lot with the actual flying mechanics, but they look really cool and they make you feel pretty cool. Anyway, so here we are in the 1950s. I'm just going to try to land as best I can here. And we're about to begin the dude quest. And actually, this worked out perfectly because that guy over there has the question mark over his head. Whoa! All right, I'm walking here. All right, you are going to give me a quest, right? Any rumors? Uh, there is a dude guy living at Milton Estates. Better not knock on his door. Well, that just makes me want to knock on his door. All right, so I think I know where that is. Let's head right on over there. Okay, so I'm... Pretty sure that this is the Milton Estate, I think. I don't know. This building, I've noticed it in like every time period. It's pretty distinct. It looks like an estate. It it's clearly has an interior, but I've never been able to get into it. So maybe this is what this is? Hello? Anyone home? Oh my god, that's right. This is the quest that references the Studio C sketch. I forgot about that. I forgot that that was a thing in the game. Okay. So you're, yeah, you're the dude. Oh, yeah, they've even made you look like the character. I don't know if I can do the voice justice, though. Ah, hello, hi. Um, hi. Ah, yes, hello, hi. Can you, ha uh, can I have your help? Okay, help you with, help you in what exactly? I want you to open a restaurant. Oh, and w what will you sell? Basque. Okay, Bisque is soup, by the way, if, if, uh, if anyone didn't know, because I didn't know what that was until I saw that comedy sketch. World famous lobster Bisque. Obviously. Uh, yeah, right, okay. I need your help. Yeah, you, you said that part. You need to do something for me. Okay, well, what is it? I need a lifetime supply of cocoa crab meat. Okay, and what would you need that for? World famous Coco Crab Bisque. Okay, how could I have possibly missed that? It's the only logical answer, I guess. The Westwoods, the Von Bards, you know these guys? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I've heard of them. They like it. Okay, so where do I get you a life supply of meat from? That's a question you never want to ask. From a monster Coco Crab. <laughs> Obviously. 
Okay, so where am I supposed to find a monster cocoa crab? I think I already know. I don't know. Read the mythical creatures book at the librarian store. The librarian store. Yeah, mm, good. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> You're renonculus. That I feel I've I've never been more insulted in my life. Okay, so why don't you get a lot of yeah? Why don't you just get a lot of normal sized crabs instead of one big one? Hey, quit the terrible ideas, will you? You do your job. I do a real job. Okay, well. Once you go besk, you can't resist. Good line. Good. That's that's words to live by. All right. Well, that guy's uh absolutely off his rocker. Um. Uh, okay, what is this side quest? Let's go to the bookstore. Actually, I should probably get some money first because I imagine the book is more than two dollars. Okay, so I made some money across the island at the meadery, and now we can go to the bookstore, which is not run by Jason. It's his ancestor, uh, Yo Johan? Jonas? I think that's Johan. I don't know how to pronounce that name. All right, anyway, Mythical Creatures. First book we find, five dollars. Smack that down on the counter. Wrap that up to go, thanks. There we go. All right, let's read this sucker. Flip the page. The Chaser. The Burgos Latro. The uh, Burgos Latro Gigantic. Oh, that is the Cocoa Crab. Okay, and then Giant Spiders, and that's it. That's all that there is. Okay, so the Cocoa Crab is a very interesting kind of creature. It is able to climb trees in order to hunt for cocoa nuts, hence the name. It has also called the robber crab since it steals your garbage. Uh, so citizens of Pine Island, beware the cocoa crab. Okay, and the giant cocoa crab. In the 19th century, a giant skeleton of a cocoa crab was discovered by Bernard Bean. Estimates pre pre predate it to have lived before the Ice Age. Though families of the local... Though families, uh, so I guess family of the local natives, oh, families of the local natives tell stories of the Metacoco, a monstrous crab alleged to have inhabited the old cave at modern Jack's Beach not longer than 2,000 years ago at 1600 AD to be exact. That's only like 400 years ago. It's not that bad. Uh, that is north of Pine Lake. Though, why should we believe old fairy tales over the mainstream consciousness? <laughs> Dude, based in red pilled. All right. <laughs> so we're going to put that back in our inventory. So I guess that's where we got to go. All right. So I got the time and date all set. According to the map, Jack's Beach should be in this direction. So all we got to do is travel in time to go kill ourselves an exotic animal. Hoorah. All right. So uh, I will get there. Okay. So this is Jack's Beach. So I see some normal cocoa crabs and some turtles I guess I forgot that there were turtles in this game but I'm not seeing any giant cocoa crabs oh that looks like it could be a cave entrance right there I bet that's where I'm supposed to go oh there's a little cocoa crab anyway yep this is probably it okay this doesn't look so bad what is that thing uh Delgado's journal okay what do you uh oh it's a bit dark to read this can i get in the light here or i actually can't oh there we go there we go i delgado the explorer found at last the entrance to the alleged cave after speaking with the welcoming and good locals i found out about the so-called meto coco i have gathered my best men for the hunt oh yeah that cannot possibly have gone well that was day one okay well that's all she wrote what is this coco eggs Cocoa crabs are for coming generations. Lots of them. Yeah, there are a lot of them. I guess that's it. Okay. So, how dark is this cave going to be? Should I have brought a flashlight? I think I should have. Whoa! Okay. Okay, got the flashlight, and I am ready to continue the hunt. So, am I supposed to, like, get up there, maybe? Or am I supposed to go down here? Oh, I think I was supposed to go down here. Yeah, because there's like a little place I can get more air here. So this opens into a different... Ah, yeah, okay. There's a lot of cocoa crab eggs, that's for sure. No wonder there's a ton of them. There, we got another note panel. Uh, the Delgado's Journal number two. So what do you have to... 
this is so dark. It's hard to read this. Uh, we had to wait for tidal waves to lower for us to enter. I cannot dive. These caves are very cozy. I may make them my home. That's a weird thing to say. They remember me of my old homeland and the cave of Quava Viscosa. Okay, I guess that's supposed to be Italian. Maybe Spanish. I don't know. Anyway, moving swiftly right along. Okay, so we came to here. I wonder if I could have used the levee board to get up here, actually. Anyway, let us continue. Oh, these are getting, these passages are getting tight. I'm feeling a little bit claustrophobic. Oh, I guess I go up here. Ugh, yeah, this is a little bit scary. We got the last page. Oh, I can't take this one with me. This will be a long climb. I think I kept losing my other journal entries. Better have an eye out for them. I am sure we are reaching the monster's lair. A lifetime of meat and soup. That's what that's what every good adventurer strives for. You know, discovering riches, who cares? Meat and soup, that's what we really want. Oh, this is looking like a bit of a steep... Oh, yeah, there's no recovering from this. There we go. Where does this bring me up? Oh, that looks like another journal entry. Oh! Oh, I don't think he found the soup he was looking for, man. Uh, what does this say? I had to retreat. The monster defeated my men. It seems not to be the brightest one, though. There might have been a moment for us to attack when it rammed against the stony walls, which knocked it out for a second. I am trapped and there is no way out. Yeah, well, I can see that, my dude. You, uh, let's just drop that down there. You, uh, yeah, you're not doing so hot, eh? You got a cool hat, though. All right, here we go. Oh, I think the... Oh, there's a bunch of little cocoa crabs in here. Well, where's the... Oh, there's the big one. That's... Just, that's... He's a bit mean looking. He's got those beady red eyes. This is a lot of eggs. All right. So do I just like... Oh, oh, no, no. Okay, never mind. He wakes right up. Cool. All right. So this doesn't do any damage. So I guess it's kind of like the platypus fight where I just got to let him ram against the wall and then I shoot him in the back maybe. I don't know, he doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, honestly. Oh, okay, he's throffing at the mouth now. There he goes. Yeah, that's exactly what I have to do. Oh, I can actually get two hits in. That's pretty good. Maybe maybe even three if I was a little bit faster on the draw. Yeah, okay, the uh, max level gun kind of makes this fight trivial. <laughs> uh, sorry, dude, you were just having... You were just living your best life. Oh, that's a lot of meat. A life supply of cocoa crab meat. Okay, well, let's put that down. So, open. Oh, that's a lot of meat. I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, I think I was supposed to carry one of these with me, I guess? Where is the exit? This is probably the exit, I imagine. So let's take one of those meat with us and uh, see how far we can get here without breaking it into smaller pieces. Okay, I can put one in my inventory. That's what I have to do. Okay, so that spits me out here. Can I go back? Oh, of course I can't. Okay, so after a second trip through the cave, I was able to take the other lifetime supply of crab meat out of there. And now we are ready to return to the bisque guy. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I think the crab meat is in this box. Oh, yeah. No, come back. I need that. With that I'm just gonna put this massive piece of crab meat in my pocket uh, what is the what does our journal actually say here uh, active the dude uh, the bisque guy wants me to get him a life supply of cocoa meat from a monster crab he told me that okay I well I did that so I assume that now I return to the bisque guy probably knock knock oh hey okay you're already here hi got my life supply of crab meat place it on the counter Okay, uh, sure, I could do that. It's always on the counter with you people. Oh my god, these things take up... Oh, can I even fit both of them? I think I only need to put one, actually. I'm gonna keep the other one for myself. If, oh, stop rolling off. There. Okay, are you satisfied now? Uh, place it on the counter. Okay, I but I, I did the... Oh, it keeps falling off! <laughs> no, stop. Stay. Stay. Okay. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, okay, okay, yes, here. Excellent, good job. I will rate your performance five stars. Five thumbs up. <laughs> All the thumbs. Five, er, cocoa craps. Five thumbs up. Okay, so anyway, what now? Ah, yes. I will now open my restaurant. Okay, so should I, like, come back in a week, or... No, come back in, like, a decade or so. Okay, you want me to wait a whole decade? Hey, use your time machine, Dumbo. How do you know about that? Okay, you're freaking me out, dude. No, you're freaking me out. Okay, it's too close. I'm out of here. All right. So I guess I just come back in 10 years? Is that actually what I have to do? I defeated the Cocoa Crab. Now I need to bring lifetime ration of crab meat. Okay, and I got to keep one for myself. So I will never, literally never go hungry again. Never have to buy food again, that's for sure. Okay, I'm literally just gonna come back in 10 years. Like the guy said, I hope that that works. Oh, I just made that, and then I did a sick ramp and crashed into the guy's house. Oh, dude, I made it onto the second floor of this dude's house. Oh, I've never done that before. That was pretty cool, actually. All right, I think I need the hover, hover conversion to get off of here, though. All right, so here we are. It's now 1961, so I guess I just talked to the dude again. Oh, there's a Coco Crab Bisque sign. Awesome. Okay, I guess it all worked out for him. Cool. Hey, remember me? It's me. Yes, hello, hi. Back from your travels? Uh, so I was supposed to come back. Yes, to get free try of my world famous Coco Crab Bisque. All right. Sit down at a table behind you. Have a seat if you want. Okay, can I buy something? World famous Coco Crab Bisque. Only $2, that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, whoa, dude, your restaurant's super popular. It's so popular that people have to stand inside of each other to fit. Awesome. Compliments. Oh, condiments. Oh, I guess that was my free bisque. That's the one I bought. Oh, absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, dude. I really, I really appreciate it. I'm going to have a second helping. That's how much I like your bisque. Okay, so, uh, and it's complete, and we got the achievement and everything. So, uh, that was the dude side quest. So, oh, there's a thing over here. Blueprints. Give me that. New food object to craft. Oh, I, I bet that gives us Cocoa Crab Bisque. We can make our own at any time. All right, that was actually a pretty cool quest. It's definitely um, highlighted uh, or, well, improved if you understand the reference to the Studio C sketch. Um, but yeah, that was, that was pretty quirky, pretty fun overall. Okay, so uh, that is the... Uh, the dude quest done and the uh, uh, the one that we just did the accordion accordion man quest done so still not gonna do Eleanor yet yeah still have I have a reason to wait for that and next week there will be a, a whole new thing for us to see in new time uh, oh, no time uh, because there will be another update coming at some point so uh, stay tuned for that and otherwise uh, as I eat this garbage, I think it's a good time to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again on the next episode real soon. Goodbye!